came up with this scheme mm -hmm. in about uh, three or four days. And this scheme is actually based loosely on the lessons we learned on the Burr. Sure. And the Zayfang Tower. So it's not just a one off, it's an evolution of ideas that came together. So it's basically an expression of the Chinese code. The, the atrium floors are spaced far enough apart so we can have our areas of refuge that have to be there. The, uh, the inner skin, it will be the world's tallest double skin. So the inner skin is very simple, it's a cylinder. So all the floors are pretty much the same from a leasing standpoint. In each zone, and then the outer skin is what is odd and twisted, mm -hmm. and that's the the idea we learned from the birds because Adrian mm -hmm. first wanted to put the terraces all equal, right. and that looked terrible. And we found that the terraces not only do they spiral as they go up the building, it looked better and it reduces the wind loads. Right. Not 80 meters. Right. So basically what this building is sitting on are um, a whole bunch of big columns in the dirt that go all the way down to something hard. Yeah. So the weight of the building really isn't even on the soil. Yeah. It, it, it bypasses the way soil far, and goes yeah. way down there. Kind of um, like stills through, yes. through the yes. soft the, the, the soil kind of gives stability to that area. Yeah. But there's really almost no weight of this building on the soil. Wow. A smaller building, say a hundred story residential building, doesn't have foundations that are that deep. And it's actually putting pressure. The smaller buildings put more pressure on the soil than the big buildings. It's kind of a counterintuitive thing.
to the other three. See, something, something like that, just the little sparkles. When you start trying to put the color in the whole thing, that's when it gets very bright on the inside. You can see it in uh, blue with the color both sides. Yeah, you do good.